Hi all, in today's video, we are, we are going to do a um, Dash Lineage OS 14 to the next uh, next bit Robin. So if you would prefer custom ROM, then the stock ROM, because of the updates and uh, security patches, then you can proceed with uh, following the step-by-step -step guide on this video and how you want to actually do a Dash to the uh, Lineage OS itself. So first of all, what you need to do would be uh, enable develop developer option so what you need to do normally is a build number so once you have the developer so what you can do is just to enable USB debugging so one press OK and you're ready so what you need to do next is to plug in your <coughs> you can actually plug in your USB cable to the computer and make sure that it is connected in order for you to do the flashing so let's proceed to that Okay, before I forgot, I think if you need, you will need to actually bootloader unlock this phone in order for you to do any flashing. So, after you have enabled USB debugging, you would need to OEM unlock as well, enable it so that you can actually do the unlock, right? So, after that, you can proceed with the computer for the rest of the process. Okay, once you have your USB debugging enabled, so the... First thing you need to do is to make sure that the um, we, we can navigate to the folders where you download all the stuff. So where I have it is actually a CD downloads, CD next bit. So so these are all the stuff that I have. So now since we are flashing the Lineage OS, so we would need to make sure that we uh, the ADV is connected. So we can do ADV devices to ensure that it's connected. And like what I said. Please make sure you have uh, ADB installed. So what I use is minimal ADB and fast boot. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can download it. So you just press enter and <clears throat> you'll basically see whether your ADB is correct. But it's unauthorized. So what you need to do next is to, and the, um, to accept that on the phone for you to continue with this. Okay, so when you do an ADB devices, you should be able to see this um, for the first time. So you should always allow it and press OK. So once you have that, you can go to your computer and do ADB devices again. Your device should appear there. Okay, so once you have accepted on the phone, what you can do now is to do ADB devices again. And you should be able to see that the device is now connected. So once you have the device connected, you can do ADB reboot. Boot loader. So once it's rebooted into boot loader mode, you can do a fast boot devices to check it's connected so you can do a fast boot boot twrp or you can do a fast boot oem unlock now to lock the phone unlock fast boot oem unlock to unlock the phone so now the phone is unlocked and you're done so itself you will need to on the phone itself you will need to enable it so uh, you'll do a yes to unlock and wipe phone so what you need to do is to do just do a power button click a yes um, or the yes and do a yes so they will unlock and reboot into and they will do the reset and stuff right so when you have done with this, you can proceed on with the flashing process. Okay, so once the phone get rebooted, it will be back to the setup screen. So if you don't want to go back into the setup screen and reset up everything again, and you just want to go to fast boot, you can just power down the phone and, and go in via the hardware method. So what you need to do now is to press on the volume down button and the uh, power button. And then right go. You should be in fast boot mode now. So once you're in fast boot mode, you can just plug in the cable and we can continue on with the process. Okay, so once we are here and we have the phone unlocked, so what can what can we do now is to check again for fast boot devices. And now it's connected to fast boot. We can do a fast boot. Boot TWRP recovery to just put into recovery for us to do the remaining process. So what you can do now, the phone will be booted logically into recovery mode so the, now the phone is booting into recovery so what can you do here is to um, swipe 
right to allow modifications okay for those who are having issues copying the lineage file into the phone then um, we can actually use the ADM method to push the file into the phone when you are booted into recovery so what you can do is to ADB push right, lineage and to slash SD card slashed and press enter then the files itself will be pushed to the phone itself so once the um, lineage files have been pushed in then we can proceed on with the flashing of the uh, lineage OS so I'm not actually doing the GApps portion now so if you guys need GApps what you need to do is just to repeat the same process and flash GApps over the new lineage OS uh, whatever addition that you guys need okay as you can see now the file has been finished uh, has been completed the transfer so what you can do now is to get to the phone and complete the rest of the setup process once the ADP push is completed you can actually take a look at install and you'll see the file appear here so what we normally do is to do a wipe, so normally we'll do an advanced wipe. We normally will wipe off everything except for internal storage, so data, system, cache, right? So that we can actually do the uh, flashing after that. We we'll just like to wipe, then they will be done. Once it's done, okay, so once we are done with the wipe, what we do need to do now is to just do a flash with this. I mean, if you guys wanted GApps, you can actually add the GApps zip here and do the flash as well. But for me, this one, I just showed guys how to flash lineage, so I'm not including a GApp. So if you guys want GApps, just download the additional zip file and put it in. I will put in the link to download GApps as well for this. So what you need to do now is just do a swipe, and they will, they will start installing your... So as you can see now, the flash has completed. As you can see, there is a zip corrupt file, so make sure that you have the correct uh, zip file in installed into the um, or transferred into the machine so that you will make sure that the, uh, the installation will be successful so what you can do now is just to wipe cache and Delvic cache so once you're done with that what you can do now is just to reboot the system so for me normally I won't install so you just put do not install and the phone will get booted into the new and this one is you will get this message when you are actually you already unlock your phone you'll get this message here so what you can do now is just to continue to boot up the, the device and stuff most of the options are not going to work right so what you can do now they are actually booting it you just want to make sure that the device get boot up and you're done and you can actually remove the cable now First boot will normally take a while, so you just need to wait it out. Okay, so as you can see now, the device is booted into Lineage OS, so you can just next, next, uh, skip. Skip anyway, you can skip all this stuff that you don't need. And just skip it, skip, and start. So there you have it. Um, Lineage OS, base Lineage OS running there, and a very quick and snappy stuff. So as you can see now, this is the 7.1.2 version. Actually, this is a version which is later than the um, next bit stock ROM itself. But like what I said, if you like the latest and greatest, then you should use this. They have the December 5th security patch, which is for the latest one. And of course, the Lineage, uh, the, the stock, Next bit Robin version will be uh, 7.1.1 So that would be maybe roughly around November patch or earlier But they do have the cloud functions available So like what I said, if you don't mind to have a later security patch Or earlier, earlier security patch But they have the cloud features enabled for your device You can actually use that for a while before switching to this But you don't care about the cloud features that they are providing Then please go ahead and flash to this ROM itself Okay, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys, um, hope this video helped you guys with some of those folks that want to actually flash the niche to their uh, next bit robin. 
and that's all I have for today. Um, I'll speak to you guys pretty soon. Do subscribe if you like the video I'm doing. And uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye.